All right, right now, uh, it's Tuesday morning. I am on my way out to Buckeye Tractor to pick up some more parts for our 2004 721D. We have started experiencing some vibration and a lot of movement in the PTO drive shaft. Um, so we're gonna, we usually would just replace the quick disconnect sleeve. That's usually a quick fix. Uh, but it appears that the splines actually on the PTO shaft are getting worn out to where if we've just put a quick disconnect sleeve on, uh, we would just chew through that in a matter of days and have to put another one on. So I'm going to go out to Buckeye, pick up a new power shaft and a couple new pillow block bearings. We've got a quick disconnect sleeve back at the shop in stock. So we're going to pick that stuff up and head to the shop and go ahead and put that stuff on. It's a little bit of a rain delay this morning. Shocker. Um, we had a great week last week. We uh, basically got six straight days of work without any rain. And then here we are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days of this week, and we've gotten rain every day. Uh, yesterday we ended up working probably three quarters of a day, but uh, we're kind of in and out of the rain. It wasn't very pleasant to work in, but we had to do what we had to do to try to stay somewhat caught up because we were pretty caught up at the end of last week after Saturday. We got everything cut and uh, it was starting to feel like we were you know, seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. But um, now here we are, third day of this week, and it's the third day of rain. So we're just going to try to keep our heads up and think positive about it. And we'll see what we can do. But like I say, we're going to go hook these parts up and then we'll meet back at the shop and we'll go ahead and put those parts on. This one did wonderful. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's WD. That's what we need. Wonderful. That's what we need. We're looking for. And this goes on. Mm -hmm. So, just yep right. and flush. Let's make sure that. Well, the it trick is, is uh, keep, yeah. keeping it flush when you put this damn thing in. That's the trick. Because it wants, when you pull, pound this in, the pulley wants to go in, I think. We'll hold down for a second. Oh, we leave the pulley out a little bit. That's where it was. Falsetsky? Yep, that's where it was. Right. I got it in idea. where it was. Ready for testing? We're ready for testing. Okay. Another, another job done in house. Stuart Sullivan strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> We got a little bit more of the same coming down right now as you can see and here it's more rain Thursday and uh, let's see how many days this week two out of the four work days we've had rain we're trying really really hard to get caught up and just when we get think we think we're close enough uh, mother nature throws a little curveball at us and another dose of rain showers but we'll just keep on trucking through it I feel like a broken record but uh, it's kind of a, a developing trend here. We get a nice day and then a rain day, and then a nice day and then a rain day. Uh, we're struggling real hard to get to Memorial Day. That's next weekend. We've got three cemeteries to take care of and get ready. And uh, we've also got a humongous track meet up at Ohio Westland, NCAA track meet, that we're also trying to work on and get in shape uh, for that event too. So we're just going to keep doing what we can do and, and uh, hope that this weather turns around soon, but uh, a little, little questionable right now. Morning stories. My wife yesterday was out and about this evening. <clears throat> she she came up home road uh, from the west, and you got an elementary school and the new high school at home in Sawmill. Go around the corner, and there's another elementary school because old and is hurting for schools, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then the, and then a middle school. She said she came by the first elementary and the high school in the front yards in her words, were a mess. 
She said she got around the corner on Sawmill to the elementary and the middle school where my two grandkids go at the middle school. She says that yard was terrible. She said, there was this big woman that looked like Dale. <laughs> on a machine like his. Cutting. And she said it was just, like Dale. just <laughs> spit. No, it's bigger than Dale, she said. No. And she had a thin hair was a little longer. Looked like, a, looked like a machine. And her hair was a little that longer. Uses. And that was just under her arm. This morning. And her beard was longer too. Or no? <laughs> she needed a shave. That machine was just burping out clumps of grass. Oh no. And she mm. said that's all. That they were just. She said I, I don't. She was oblivious. Marks in the yard. This is the same school that had the. Game postponed because there was a machine stuck in the outfield. And then yesterday, Rick and I, I wanted to prove a point to Rick how people can be. South Sandusky Street, going south at McDonald's, at London Road there. I always get in the right lane because I know I'm going to turn into Oak Grove's entry to the cemetery to park where we always park. And invariably, there's always somebody to the left of you. And they do not want you to beat them to that merge. Oh, yeah. For one lane. And I told him happen. yesterday, we're sitting this light. You watch this guy beside us. He he will accelerate right beside me. No matter how fast I take off or slow, he's going to stay right there. So the light changes and I take off. And I'm going. And he's right there. And we're neck and neck. And he's looking and I'm looking. And then I turn my signal and turn right into the Oak <laughs> It happens more than I care to admit. It's always been there. Well, how many times you had to? You're not getting in front of me. You know, come in with the big, the big truck and trailer, and and I'll swing wide because I got oh, to. Oh, I've had that happen. You know, cemetery. You know, try to scoot right in around you. Yeah, got the indicator on and everything. That's on the right. Know? That's good. Amazing stuff. Heading up to pick up Dylan right now. We got to head down south to Lancaster this morning. We've got our continuing education class with Hamburg get us recertified and licensed so we can blow some stuff up again uh, this year legally. We do three shows every year. We get a show in Delaware, and we do a show at Recreation Unlimited, and then we do the homecoming show at uh, Highland High School. So it's been a good time. This will be my third year doing it. It's a lot of fun, and it's all legal. So uh, I'm going to pick them up. We're going to head down south.